you know, I think that she's a strong woman who is, you know, progressive and, um, and probably has, you know, she has a high tolerance for many things, but, um, when, you know, good people end up in extraordinary circumstances, there are, you know, animalistic, uh, characteristics that, uh, rear their head. All they were doing was just like laughing and smiling and they were just so, they were so warm um, that I just immediately thought, how could such nice people write something so dark? Um, but shockingly, every day they bring such um, s sort of generosity of spirit and um, kindness to a set that is wrought with uh, intensity from moment to moment. Owen is a lovely person and he's also, you know, he's, he, he pays attention to everyone on set. I mean, he's very sort of um, kind in that way and generous. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think, I can't think of a better person to kind of be in the mud with in this, in this way, um, literally uh, and emotionally. Uh, but, you know, he, he can make you laugh um, when, when things are a little scary. And then he'll also jump off a ledge with you, literally and emotionally, um, you know, when it's necessary. So um, I'm very happy that he's my comrade in this very elaborate and athletic endeavor. Frankly, working with Claire and Sterling makes it very easy to feel protective uh, because they are something to protect. I mean, I, you know, I see their mothers every day on set and I'm just like, God, you got good ones. I hope mine are as good as these. The physicality of it um, was more challenging than I thought. That said, um, the emotionality and the physicality kind of um, are mixed up in a, in a ball of each other with each scene because um, you are also dealing with these kids. So Im immediately, you know, if you were scared, you would already be scared in many of these circumstances, but then to have two sweet, innocent, kind, and sensitive little beings with you, it, it just it makes everything so much more complicated and layered and um, just profound. I will say Pierce is, you know, consummate professional. He's old school um, in the way that he walks into a room and he just, you know, people, you have to look at him because A, he's astonishingly good looking. Um, but yeah, I think it's mainly that he's astonishing good looking. But um, secondly, um, he, he has a, a real movie star presence, which um, is so, you know, it's so, I think I say old school because I don't know that that exists that often anymore. Um, he, I, you know, and yet I find him hilarious and, um, and such a breath of fresh air in this movie because, you know, things are so scary and he has, you know, the way he plays this character is um, somehow things around him, everything's gonna be all right, you know? And um, he kind of slings from the hip a little bit, but he's a little messy and, you know, to see Pierce Brosnan kind of take on a little messiness is, is, is exciting. Hey there, Valerie here with another round of So You Think You Know Movies, and today it's Star Wars. Did you know that early drafts of The Empire Strikes Back had Yoda named Buffy? Mm -hmm. Carrie Fisher never wore a bra when playing Princess Leia, as George Lucas said that there is no underwear in the world of Star Wars, and so I... No, 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 no. And finally, Darth Vader's name was changed to Lord Fenner in Italy because 
Father in Italian sounds too similar to water, the word for toilet in Italian. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all the latest releases and movie news. Bye!